Hey there, Read Along Kids. Welcome back to another great adventure. Today's story is called Not For Me, Please. I Choose to Act Green. Written by Maria Goodsey. Illustrated by Christoph Kellner. There once was a day when I didn't act green. A time when I thought things would always stay clean. I didn't think twice of the choices I made, the impact they had, or the damage that stayed. My actions were based on the ease brought to me, with never much thought to our air, land, or sea. But my thoughts around this changed in a flash when I noticed the damage caused by our trash. The sight of it caused a reaction in me, and all I can say was, not for me, please. I could not continue to live as I did. Surely I could help out, because I'm a strong kid. From there, I decided that I will take action, and protecting our planet became my new passion. You too can help out with this phrase that I found. Just say, not for me, please and stand your own ground. It may take some practice, but I'll show you how and why it's important for us to act now. Let's look at a straw that comes with a shake. Now imagine a trip this straw will soon take. Most often our straws are made out of plastic and after one use, they're thrown in a basket. From the basket, they head to the dump or the sea and become something known as marine debris. Our oceans are filled with all sorts of stuff that hurt our sea creatures and make their lives rough. Poor turtles and fish mistake trash for their meal. Imagine the pain that their tummies must feel. Or worse, they get tangled in our careless muck. Around fins, heads, and legs, they're nothing but stuck. This one little straw is not worth the high cost. Why use things that harm or cause a great loss? Here's where I'd say, not for me, please, when asked. I don't need a straw that will simply be trashed. We all have a choice. Let's do our small part to refuse to cause harm and decide to act smart. Just think through your actions and cause and effect of waste and pollution and careless neglect. Let's choose to recycle, reduce and reuse. And with my strong phrase, there's no way we'll lose. Here are some examples to show what I mean and how you can join me and begin to act green. Do you see all this trash scattered around? Why would anyone throw their stuff on the ground? Not for me, please, is what I choose to say and pick up the litter to throw it away. I choose to be mindful and sort through my trash, recycling things like plastic or glass. These can be turned into something brand new, like clothing, park benches, or even a shoe. Look at these lights that someone left on in the room that is empty with everyone gone. The same for computers, games, and TVs. Why keep these things on for no one to see? Not for me, please. I use what I need and power things off whenever I leave. I know that it's easy for one to forget, but do it enough and a habit you'll set. Do you see this faucet and the water that flows? How much have been wasted? It's so hard to know. Just running the water when it's not in use is careless and wasteful. There's just no excuse. 
Not for me, please. I avoid wasteful drips while brushing or cleaning my small fingertips. We're lucky to have clean water to drink, not the kind that is harmful, dirty, or stinks. Do you bring food to school that's packed at your home? After your lunch, how much trash has been thrown? From plastic baggies to small boxes of juice, it's scary the trash just one meal can produce. Not for me, please. I watch what I bring, use food containers, and avoid plastic things. I bring my own bottle, I wash and reuse. No need to contribute to plastic abuse. Even while shopping, I see so much waste. Plastic grocery bags found all over the place. And why are there so many things plastic wrapped? Most of this plastic will only be scrapped. Not for me, please. I've had enough. I use my cloth bags when I pack up my stuff. I also take care of what goes in my cart. Choosing less packaging and plastic is smart. Have you been on a picnic when the sky was bright blue? Do you remember the cups, plates, and forks that you used? They were probably plastic and used only once. But decomposing takes years, not just a few months. Not for me, please. I'll join the ban against single-use plastic because I'm not a fan. All that I need can come from my home. Let's avoid needless buys and reuse what we own. Our world is connected with resources shared. We all must pitch in and give nature our care. Let's pass on these things that don't make much sense or benefit us at our planet's expense. The options are endless if you make the right choice. Think the three R's and use your strong voice. So how will you choose next time when you're out? Will you think differently and take a new route? You are free to borrow my little phrase and say, not for me, please, in all of your days. The end. Thanks for listening, Read Along Kids. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more great read-along fun. Until next time, bye-bye.